Art Museum. Affiliated stations present Escape. All of Fantasy. Inner Sanctum Mystery. Lights out. Welcome, weirdos. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Retro Radio, old time radio in the dark, presented by Weird Darkness. Each week, I bring you a show from the golden age of radio, but still in the genre of Weird Darkness. I'll have stories of the macabre and horror, mysteries and crime, and even some dark science fiction. If you're new here, welcome to the show, and be sure to subscribe or follow the podcast so you don't miss future episodes. And if you're already a member of this weirdo family, please take a moment and invite someone else to listen in with you. Spreading the word about the show helps it to grow. If you're here because you're already a fan of nostalgic audio and print, you'll want to email WeirdDarkness at RadioArchives.com. When you do that, you'll get an instant reply with links to download full-length pulp audiobooks, pulp ebooks, and old-time radio shows for free. That's WeirdDarkness at RadioArchives.com. Coming up, it's an episode from The Creaking Door. The Creaking Door was an old-time radio program that originated from South Africa. It relied heavily on mysticism and the supernatural. It was of the same genre as classic suspense and horror mysteries like Inner Sanctum. There isn't much information on the series, but I believe it ran in the mid to late 1950s and then found syndication from 1964 to 1965. The show was hosted by Peter Bloomfield and only lasted for 34 episodes. Tonight, it's an episode entitled The Vagrant, where a man sits on a bench near the river. His suit is crumpled and ancient, his shoes broken. Now and then he sips from a bottle of cheap wine that has become his only friend. But he doesn't sip with good cheer and happiness. He drinks in horror. Now bolt your doors. Lock your windows turn off your lights, and come with me into the weird darkness as we listen to The Creaking Door and The Vagrant. I have flown. I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours and ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in Spine Chillers. The Creaking Door. The manufacturers of State Express 3-5's Filter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. Good evening, friends of The Creaking Door. The Creaking Door is open. So do come in. You know, some ghosts are awful liars. One of our people here tells the most fantastic stories of his life on Earth. And then he wonders why everyone sees through him. <laughs> in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research 
by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3-5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new, smooth, State Express 3-5s today. A man sits on a bench near the river. His suit is crumpled and ancient. His shoes broken. Now and then he sips from a bottle of cheap wine that has become his only friend. But he doesn't sip with good cheer and happiness. He drinks in horror. Move on there. Move on. Oh, officer. I feel pretty weak. Drinking in the afternoon won't make any stronger. I've been ill. Oh, sure. I've heard every sob story a hobo ever dreamed up. You know what's wrong with you? They used to call it lack of moral fiber back there in the war. You're just a spineless lump of humanity, not able to get the courage to jump in the river. Now get going or I'll run you in. Oh, very well. No hard feelings. I know you're just doing the job the city pays you for. You got the price of a meal. Oh, no, I'm a vagrant. Arrest me if you like. It doesn't matter. Another few days in jail. What's, what's that to a guy like me? Eric, if I stake you to a You know the answer? Booze. I know some people who help guys like you. Most of them are ex-drunks, and they, they understand. You sound like an educated man. He might be able to do something for you. No, thanks. I've got the greatest respect for people like that. They'd sober me up. And the one thing I couldn't stand to be to be sober. No, officer. The nightmares don't come to me through drink. It's the opposite. They come when I'm sober. Oh, man, we all have our problems. Not problems like mine. Officer, did you ever hear a dead woman talk? Hmm? Did you ever have a dead woman tell you that she loved you after you'd murdered her? Now, what's this talk about murder? You can't arrest me for it. <laughs> sure, I killed her. Sandra helped. Maybe it was Sandra's idea. But you can't arrest me for killing Jeanette because Jeanette isn't dead. You see, I was married to Jeanette when I fell to Sandra. Sandra was beautiful. Jeanette was insipid beside Sandy. I loved Sandy. Sandy. Yes, Sam. I love you. <sighs> me too. How could it happen to a man like me, 35 years old, married, not really living, and then one day... Oh, it happened, darling. It happened all the time. One of the big things of life. The biggest. And it happens to you and me. Why do you love me? I don't know. Yes, I do. Your hair, your lips, the way you walk, the <laughs> swing of your skirt, the touch of your fingers in the dark. Did you love your wife that way? No. Jeanette was the girl next door. Everybody expected us to get married. Well, we did. It was like most marriages... Oh, we didn't even fight. Just petty bickerings. Deadly dull. Was never like the thing I feel for you. Wouldn't it be wonderful if... If I were free, I often think that. Oh, it's, it's wicked to think like that. After all, Jeanette deserves her happiness, too. She isn't happy with me. How could she be? And she might divorce you. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do, Sammy. I'll wait until we have one of our usual rows and ask her. You never know. Well, 
That's how it started, officer. Just a few words said casual. Well, tell me the rest of it. Uh, sure. Remember, there's no arrest you can make because she's still alive. How? Search me, but she's alive and kicking, I know that. You see, officer, I don't know exactly when I decided to kill her. Perhaps it was when she refused to divorce me. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that was it. I wish you'd remember to wipe your feet when you come into the house, Sam. Dragging mud all over the carpet. Sorry, Jeanette. Oh, sorry, nothing. I have to clean up after you, don't I? Yeah, you have to clean up. And try and take a little care. And we need new drapes for the living room. Okay, just pick them out, honey. Oh, you don't care, do you? You're tired of me and the house, tired of everything. Who is she, Sam? Who's who, Jeanette? Do you think a wife doesn't know? You must be crazy if you do. I know. I knew immediately. Some cheap little floozy... Well, why should could... you care? What does it mean to you? There's no love lost between us, and you know it. Suppose there is another girl, and she can give me what you can. I expect you want a divorce. That's the next step. Well, I don't see any point in going on like this, do you? Did you ever see any point in it? You can forget it. Because you may not be the husband of my dreams, Sam, but you happen to be my husband, and I'm not making a free gift of you to some You cheap better be careful what you say. You don't know her. I don't want to know her, thank you. Now, that ends the entire sordid conversation, and I refuse to discuss it again. Make yourself at home, Sam. I'll fix us a drink. Here, take your jacket off. Oh, this is really like home. <laughs> Why, Sam. Sam, you're wearing a gun. Yeah, I just bought it. Oh, I hate guns. This city just isn't safe at night anymore. No, that's true. But... I've never fired a gun in my life. Well, you'll have to get some practice. Yeah. Maybe uh, we can go somewhere this weekend, huh? Sam... Sam, if I were you, I, I wouldn't wear that gun. I wouldn't let anybody know you've got it. Leave it here until you need it. Until I need it, yeah. Oh, boy, I'm with you all the way. Thanks, Sammy. Well, here's to us. <laughs> yep, here's to <laughs> us. Shut away from the world in our little hideaway. That's how I want it, Sammy. I don't like people a lot, you know. I want us to be together for always. That's how it started, officer. I bought a gun. I expected I'd made up my mind to kill her then. But I fooled myself that I didn't have to. She might see things my way. And she never did? No, no, she never did. Women are funny creatures. <laughs> you can say that again. A woman, oh, well, some anyway, like being married. They like having the status, if you can call it that, even when they hate the man. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm. But no excuse for murder. I don't think I'd have done it if... You don't ever know another person, do you? You sit across from them at meals, you share the night with them and talk all the things one talks about. You don't know them at all. I... I never really knew what was in her mind. Never. You were late home tonight. Yeah, that's right. Seeing your little sweetheart? Oh, lay off me, will you, Jeanette? I hoped we could go to a movie, that's all. You hate me. You show it every day. Why should I take you to a movie? Because we have to live normal lives, that's why. Does she look like me? No. You must know she doesn't. I'll bet she does. No, she doesn't. Younger, I expect, and prettier. I don't want to talk to you about her. I wonder how she feels. Guilty, I expect. Or is she without feelings of any kind? What good is all this doing you? You know I want you to divorce me. You, you know I want to marry Sandy. Oh, so that's her name, Sandy. <laughs> How sweet. Or perhaps it's a nickname. Of course, you could leave me and simply live with her. Or is she insistent on the wedding ring? You'll lose a lot, Sam. The, the house, the car, it's in my name. The alimony won't be cheap. Can you keep your job? None of it matters. Can't you understand that? Oh, you have got it badly, my dear, haven't you? Yes, I have, Jeanette. Our marriage was a mistake, and we both know it. 
One day the right man for you will come along and you'll be happy. No, you're just bitter and unhappy. Sam, a marriage is a marriage. It's for life, and as far as I'm concerned, that's that. If we're unhappy, we deserve to be. I just don't believe in divorce. Don't be depressed, Sam. Don't be sad about anything. If she was gone... Yeah. If there were only an accident, say, or a burglar... You said the city was dangerous. You were right, you know. It is. People get killed. You hear of bad things happening every day of the year. <laughs> Don't you, Sam? in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new, smooth, State Express 3.5s today. Sam feels. Only a few use the gun, pull the trigger. Interesting people, murderers. I meet quite a few behind the creaking door. Mm. you do? The Sandy girl was asking you to murder your wife, wasn't she? Yeah, she was, I suppose, officer. I wonder if she knew it then. Oh, I didn't need much telling. I, I was ready for it. But the way it happened was something else again. Something I didn't expect. Sleep. <laughs> I'm happy. Cat that ate the cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's great being here with you, closed away from the world. <sighs> Every girl has a man in her mind, a man she wants and needs more than anything else. Do I look like Jeanette? No, nothing like her. She's a blonde, isn't she? That's right. She's a pretty girl, nice girl. Just not for me, that's all. Some other guy, she, he'd make her happy. Some other guy, but not me. Sam, I, I've still got your gun here. I know. I'm scared of having it here. You better take it tonight. Okay, Sandy, if you want me to. You know this thing has to end, don't you? What do you mean, Sandy? What I say. It has to end because people can't act this way. Not forever. I'm not your wife. I'm nothing. You'd better make up your mind. To stay with her and love her. There's no other way. No, please, no. A girl can't live like this. Sam, you make up your mind once and for all. And, and here's your gun. I took the gun and I walked home. She was there, Jeanette, with that... Martyred look on her face and dinner waiting. Poor Jeanette. None of it was her fault.
I've made dumplings the way you like them. Thanks. Can she cook? Sandy? Just leave me alone, Jeanette. Whatever you do is your own business, Sam. Oh, here, eat your supper. I don't feel hungry. Oh, she can cook, is that it? Take your jacket off. If you like. What's that? A gun? Yes, Jeanette, it's a gun. Oh, let's see it. I used to be rather a good shot. Be careful, it's loaded. Oh, thanks. Uh, you poor simp. Did you buy it to shoot me, oh, Sam? Don't be foolish. I can read you like a book, Sam. You bought it to kill me, but you didn't have the nerve. You never would have managed it. You haven't the courage to shoot a sick cat. I wouldn't you? shoot you, Jeanette. You've done me no harm. If we hurt one another, that's how things are. But now I have the gun. You pull back the slide, like this. Now it's cocked. Push the safety catch forward. Now. It's ready to fire. Oh, carefully. It has a hair trigger, Janet. Don't point it at me. Goodbye, husband. No, it's... Oh, you're, you're, you're oh, cutting my hair. Oh, let go of that oh. gun. Let go. Now, oh, you fool. Oh. Janet. Janet. I swear I didn't mean it. Sam, did she let you come here? She's dead. What do you mean? I shot her. Sam, tell me quickly. She was going to kill me and we fought over the gun, that's all. I, I didn't mean to, but, but nobody will believe me now. Of course not. Did you leave her just lying there? Oh, Sam, tell me everything. Yeah, I just left her where she fell. Give me your door key. What for? I, I must go to the police, that's Give all. Give me the key, you fool. I'm in the stool, you know. Accessory after the fact. I can hang, too. The key. Come on, quickly. Please, Jeanette. I'm Sandy. I'm not Jeanette. Oh, my mind's going. The key, quickly. Ah, there. What are you going to do? Never mind. Now, just stay here and don't leave. Whatever you say, Sandy. Anything you say. That's how it happened, officer. It was an accident. Oh, sounds like something else to me. Where's your wife now? I don't know. How could I know? Well, this is uh, Sandy. Uh, what did she do with the body? I don't know. I was scared to ask. She came back that night and she'd been away for an hour. The terrible thing is, she was looking exactly like Jeanette. I was scared you'd go to the police, Sam. Did you... Did you go around to my place? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. What did you do? Don't ask. Just don't go there again, that's all. But what have you done? I told you, don't ask me. Some things are, are better not talked about. Is there any brandy left? Yeah, almost a bottle. Pour us two drinks. Stiff ones. Oh, we need it now. All right. We're going to drink it all. Then sleep. Anything you say... Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. To us. I'm too weak to live. Nothing I do. It... I love you. That's all you have to remember. Why are you doing your hair like Jeanette? Drink your drink, Sam. You're coming apart. I drank everything she gave me and I slept. It was late in the morning when I woke up. The sun was high. And there was a woman standing, looking down at me. Sam, you're in a bad way. Jeanette, what are you doing here? <sighs> Jeanette! You foolish boy. I'm Sandy. <laughs> Jeanette! Did you call Sam? Jeanette, she was here just now. You've been having a nightmare. No, no, I, I, I saw her. She, she, she went into the kitchen. But I just come from there. She isn't there, Sam. Jeanette is dead. Well, I, I saw her. I did. I saw her. After that, I saw 
Georgia, they're everywhere. In the street, outside my office, even sitting in my car. And Sandy changed her hairstyle and her clothes. She looked more like Jeanette every day. And she began to nag me, just like Jeanette. your legs up, Sam. I can't clean the place if you sprawl there all day. Sorry. You must try to control these silly visions of yours. I know, but she's there. She, she's everywhere. I, I saw her just now, Sandy, as I came in. She was standing in the hallway just looking at me. Hello. Yeah, he's here. But nobody knows I'm here, Sandy. Well, obviously somebody does. Answer it. Hello. Hello, Sam. No. No, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, give it to me, you fool. You know, spine it all. Hello? Hello? Oh, I rang up. But... It was her. I, I, I know it was her. Oh. Sandy, it was oh, her. Oh, clear off out of here. I can't stand having you around. Man is schemes to shoot his wife and lacks the courage and gets himself into a state of nerves like a child. Oh, go on. There's the door. Beat it. Oh, please, Sandy. Give me another chance. There's just one thing I'll give you. The gun. Here. Go on. Take it with you. You may need it. I kept the gun. One of these days, it's going to come in handy, officer. Have you got it with you now? Sure. I've always got it with me. Oh, you better hand it to me, then. No, no, I've got a permit. You've just confessed to a murder, laddie buck. You're a vagrant on your own admission. Now I'm taking you to the police station, but first I want a few details. I don't want the sergeant to get all the credit. Your name? Sam. Samuel Wallace. Listen to me. your address? Daddy, one Hansel Crescent. But it isn't fair. She isn't dead. She can't be. I oh, will soon find out after we've dug up the back garden. Now, the gun. And it's over. But it's my last oh, hope. Oh, talk foolish. You haven't got the guts to shoot yourself and you know it. And it's over. Oh, I guess you're right. Here. That's <laughs> better. Ah, now, come along with me, son. Your troubles are over. My troubles are with me. For eternity. Jeanette? Yes, dear? Can I borrow that hair dryer? Of course, Sandy. <laughs> I wonder if he's done it yet. He won't have the courage until he's quite mad. It's worth waiting for, though, isn't it? Fifty thousand. Of course, <laughs> Sandy. And the lovely thing about it is that nobody can ever find out Nobody anywhere can ever find out how we did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he deserved it. After all, he was going to shoot you. Well, of course he deserved it. I acted my own death rather well, of course, but uh, apart from that, how can the man be such a cowardly fool? Yeah. Say, have you thought what might happen if he went to the police? Sam, he won't. He hasn't got that much courage. De Quincy once pointed out that many a man has owed his social downfall to a little murder he thought nothing of at the time. Poor Sam. Perhaps he would have been well advised to shoot both of them. One simply can't tell. Can one? <laughs>
world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. This is your host back again. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Through the creaking door? Of course. <laughs> the manufacturers of State Express 3.5's Filter King cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present... Creaking door. Thanks for listening to this week's Retro Radio, Old Time Radio in the Dark. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe or follow the podcast so you don't miss future episodes. And if you like the show, please share it with someone you know who also loves Old Time Radio and Pulp Audio. If you want to hear even more, Drop an email to WeirdDarkness at RadioArchives.com and get an instant reply with links to download full-length pulp audiobooks, pulp ebooks, and old-time radio shows absolutely free. That's WeirdDarkness at RadioArchives.com. I'm Darren Marlar. I'll see you next time for Retro Radio, old-time radio in the dark.